Eastern Kingdom Safari Zone Exploration. Eastern Kingdoms is a gigantic continent on Azeroth that is filled with a variety of different zones. Okay. You got jungles, you got spooky forests, volcanoes, okay. swamps, more swamps, more spooky forests, beautiful plains, yeah. and a large array of different creatures mm -hmm. and stories that make this place unique. So it's let's a nice explore place. these exciting lands in today's yeah, it's a nice episode. Place. Stranglethorn Vale is a land that has a history with constant conflict. There was a civil war here between the Gurubashi Empire, the followers of Akar, and the Yeah, Zanhar the guys are trolls. assholes. There was the Gurubashi War, where the trolls defended mm -hmm. their homeland from the invading kingdom of Stormwind. And during oh, yeah. the first war, the orcish Bleeding Hollow clan attempted to lay claim to the jungles. This constant conflict has slowly withered away at the Gurubashi Empire, and they've turned into a shell of their former selves. Yeah, they're a bunch of bitches. And are trying to survive rather than thrive. Yep. Because of this, New factions have attempted to lay claim to the jungles mm -hmm. for their own benefit. I didn't even know that, actually. One of these groups was a small Stormwind militia commanded by That's Colonel Curzon. Curzon. Yeah. Who wanted to have a part of the jungle for their own. Mm -hmm. Their expedition would become short-lived when an ogre mage named Malzoth possessed Curzon and used him as a puppet for his own nefarious deeds. Wait! That's the, that's the ogre in the cave in Stranglethorn Vale. I didn't even know that. That's insane. Oh, Jesus. They need to send that, uh, what's that guy's name? Malzoff? Yeah. They need to send him to, uh, to Chaz. <laughs> yeah. Some of his soldiers want. saw this sudden change in character and left the go mm -hmm. establish the rebel camp in the yep. north. The medicine men that stayed with Curzon created an elixir mixed with basilisk blood and a yeah. mysterious blue stone that made the rest Wait. of the soldiers loyal followers. And the oh, that was the group quest. would remain isolated in the jungle. Now, Holy this is an shit. obvious reference to the movie Apocalypse Now, where there's yeah. a character named Colonel, Colonel Kurtz, Kurtz. Yeah. who loses his mind during the Vietnam War. Yep. And speaking of Vietnam, here's a picture of Stranglethorn Vale, and here's a picture of Vietnam. Hmm. Wait! Anyways, apparently in Cataclysm, Curzon was thrown off a tower by his soldiers for being uh, quote-unquote weak. Whatever that means. Ah. Uh, Oh, I didn't even know that shit. What the fuck? Yeah, I, I I had no idea. Okay, so they ate the guy. Hemet Nessingwary, aka the enemy of nature, the great <laughs> game hunter, the butcher of badlands, the stranglethorn ripper, old man death, Nessie, old dirty D, father of the bounty, old dirty the D? extinctionator. Target of Detha in the greatest Jesus hunter Christ. in all of Azeroth got his start here. This guy's a badass. Vale. If you've played WoW at what all, you fuck? probably know of him. He's been in every single expansion to date, and mm -hmm. while he doesn't really have an in-depth background, his legacy of big game hunting for sport has made an yep. impact on players and the ecosystems of the zones he ventures through. Okay. Emmett Nessingwary was created by Jeff, Jeff with the World of Warcraft Quest design team. Really excited to be back here in 2020 for our first <laughs> Oh, his shit! Name is an anagram for Ernest Hemingway, yeah. who was an American fiction writer as well as an avid hunter and safari explorer. Look at he that wrote guy, a book man. Called the Green writer as He's just sitting there with a double barrel shotgun with no shirt on. And like back then, it wasn't like you didn't just pull out your camera. So, like, he actually had to kind of plan this out. He's like, hey, let me go get the gun. Go take a picture of me with my shirt off and the gun. You know, and, and like, you know, somebody has to, you know, produce this footage. And, uh, you know, like, it's, this is a production. Jesus what? Christ, man. The only, the only reason anybody would ever own a gun is because they got a small dick. Everybody knows that. Well, look, think about that. It's a double bear shotgun. That means he's got two dicks as well as an avid hunter and safari explorer. He wrote a book called The Green Hills of Africa, which the yeah. book The Green Hills of Stranglethorn is based off of. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't realized already, almost everything in WoW is ripped off from something else, but uh, trust me, more on that later. Yeah, of course. Booty Bay. I always Booty liked Booty Bay. Booty Bay was originally named Blackwater Cove. Named Ooh. by its founders, the Blackwater Raiders. The assholes. But sometime after, the jungle trolls kicked them out, and then, sometime after that, the Blackwater allied themselves with the Steamweedle Cartel and claimed the town once again. I didn't know and that. And renamed it to Booty Bay. 
Probably okay. because goblins have an absolute dump truck of an ass. The giant statue Jesus in front Christ. of the cove is presumably Baron Revelgaz, uh -huh. the leader of the Blackwater Raiders, in all of Booty Bay. Wow. Adventurers now use the cove as a place of solace from the rival Bloodsail Buccaneers and other dangers within the jungle. Damn. Even to this day, the town yeah, remains as a neutral paradise filled with shops. Yeah, everybody's and a good boy there now. Interesting character. Except for the priests that Greetings. dispel you. I am Oglethorpe Abnoticus, and welcome to my combat model, optimal self sufficiency. My superpower is being honest, and that's why I want the globalists to know. I will eat your ass first. I will eat your ass! Jesus Christ! Alex Jones north, chickens. We can find the of lands course. of Duskwood, which is much more different in mm -hmm. scenery, but just as dangerous. Ooh. Funnily enough, this place used to be called Brightwood, but when the powerful guardian Medivh died, there was a was large Darkwood. release of fell energy that cursed the lands of Deadwind Pass and what we now call Duskwood. An eternal night. Wow. This curse has affected the wildlife as well. Spiders around the doomed land have began to mutate and swell into monstrous sizes the and big lurk boys. within the haunted woods, searching for lost adventurers. What the hell, dude? The ill-fated lands also attract oh, unsavory fell, characters dude. like Morbent Fell, a God. necromancer who rules over all of the undead in the Raven That was one of my favorite quests in the game, man. Here's a fun fact. I love this. In Warcraft 3, if you summon a lich hero, they have a chance to be called Morbent Fell. Oh, the ladies dig rigor mortis. One of the defining the characteristics fuck? of Duskwood is the infestation of Worgen. Yeah. The origin of these beasts is from an ancient artifact called the Scythe of Elune. What? The powerful weapon was crafted from the Tooth of Goldrin, a powerful demigod, and its purpose was to quell the uncontrollable rage that the members of the Druid of the Pack had. Although, the Scythe had adverse effects and transformed the druids into worgen that were completely consumed by their primal instincts. I didn't- I could make a whole video about the origins of the worgen, but I want to- I just thought there were like werewolves or some shit, you know? Just so they could, uh... You know, have like werewolves in the game. I didn't know it was like this big long thing. It's actually crazy they invented this much stuff. Keep this video talking about Duskwood, so we'll skip over that lore for now. Yeah. What you need to know is the scythe eventually found its way to Duskwood, mm -hmm. where it would lay dormant for many, many years until it was rediscovered by Jitters. Yes, that random quest giver in Duskwood. The reawakening what? of the scythe summoned the worgen into Duskwood, and they quickly infested the lands and made the whole forest even more dangerous. Oh. But it gets worse. Wait, jitters the fucked The reawakening every... of the weapon also alerted a mysterious uh, council called the Dark Riders, a group what? of cursed relic hunters created by Mediv, tasked with hunting powerful items all around Azeroth. That's fucking awesome. So the Nazgul. The, look, guys, this totally isn't uh, a Nazgul from Lord of the Rings, even though they uh, also speak in shrilled cries and okay. are a hive mind yeah. and report to a higher power. And Jitters of course. totally isn't Bilbo Baggins, who also stumbled upon a powerful artifact and underestimated its power. And just look, please, guys, World of Warcraft lore is totally original. Okay, thankfully, not all of Duskwood. Oh my is God! Like this is the thing. It's like WoW lore is at its best whenever it's not WoW lore. It's actually lore of another game game that WoW repurposed to be WoW lore. Uh, that's what they're really good at doing. They're good at taking an idea, stealing the idea, and then pretending like it's their own. And then you know what? It fools a lot of the players and they think to themselves, ah, you know what? This sounds pretty good. That's the whole game. Yeah. yeah. What? I mean, that's true to a certain extent, but let's, let's also not forget the fucking Nazoth death cinematic where they blatantly ri ripped off the fucking, you know, Sauron tower crashing down, and that was a complete shit show. So they don't always, you know, they don't always, uh, they miss sometimes. They, they don't always hit. Remember that? Remember when they blatantly ripped off the fucking tower crashing down and then the, the land, like, fucking disappeared and the walls crumbled just like the Lord of the Rings? You remember that, right? Yeah. I remember. I remember. Evil, and that's because the Night Watch are here. The Night Watch okay. are a militia of civilians who have made it their duty to protect the lands they call home. Even to this day, the Night Watch don't have any support from Stormwind because Why? they apparently have more important duties to take care of. 
even though I think having a spooky haunted forest filled yeah, with zombies like right and next furries door. is pretty important. And, uh, oh, oh, what? what the, the Night Watch is literally just the Night's Watch from Game of Thrones, who are also fighting an undead threat and uh, have been ignored by their kingdom? Okay. Okay, great. <sighs> okay, guys, listen. Uh... Boy, this just gets better, huh? Yeah, it just keeps getting better. World of Warcraft is earlier than Game of Thrones? Uh, no. WoW does not predate Game of Thrones. WoW predates the story, or sorry, the, the series Game of Thrones, but it does not predate the books. Uh, yeah, it does not predate the books. Uh, so, yeah, the books were written, like, way before the stories were. I was just thinking, what if WoW made like an animated series like Castlevania has on Netflix. That could actually be really fucking good. Like straight up, that could be fucking amazing. And I I think that would be a much better direction to take than what they're doing with uh with like the what they did with the movie. Like it would be fucking amazing. And they could have, like, a bunch of different characters in it and, like, follow different characters' paths, like, the life of Arthas. No, I think that they should focus... I think a better story and, like, creating a better universe is focusing on, like, different little, like, kind of, like, vignettes of stories rather than just, like, one massive story. Like, it, it, for example, um, like, like with The Witcher, right? I don't know if people have seen the series, but with The Witcher, the stories are not really... I don't even know if they're in chronological order in terms of the books, but they all lead towards one thing. And I, I really like that, the way they told the Witcher story in the series. And I'd like to see them do that again. Oh. Uh, with like the, the wow. Well, go ahead. Dude, you know he plays WoW? Yeah. Henry Cavill or Cavill? I, I know, he does. Dude, do you think he's ever watched your stream? Think about that, dog. Oh, dude. Oh, there's a, dude. dude, there's a lot of downtime when you're making movies and shit. Yeah. He's got to be watching streams, right? There's no way he hasn't seen this stream. <laughs> he, dude, he could be. I wonder, oh, dude. Dude, do you think there's any famous people watching right now, listening? I don't know, man. Do we, that? What the fuck? That'd be fucking hilarious if that was true, man. Like, uh, get him on Allcraft. That's a good we'll idea, man. To talk. To yeah, oh yeah. My God. We'll we'll have our people talk to his people. Okay, we'll see what happens. Uh, fuck, dude. That'd be insane. Red Ridge is probably okay. the most peaceful zone we'll be talking about today. Yeah, Beautiful to red celebrity. hills scattered the zone, there? a peaceful lake is in the middle, and there's the quaint little town of Lakeshire. Okay. But the eastern part of the zone is not so nice. It's filled with black rock orcs and savage gnolls. This is my favorite zone in the whole game. In common, a puppet master that has been pulling the strings. Uh oh. Who is it? Well, he didn't tell me who Long it was. Long ago, there was a mage in Stormwind, and he was an asshole. His mm -hmm. name was Morganth. And while all the other mages were practicing turning things into sheep, he was practicing the dark arts, so he was banished. Wow. <laughs> Isn't he in the but tower? before he left, he stole a book about shadow magic, but it was locked Holy behind shit. a powerful magical seal. Morganth then traveled to Red Ridge and allied himself with the Blackrock Orcs and pumped right. them full of dark magic so they could be powerful enough to take over the Stonewatch Keep. After the Keep was captured, he betrayed them and left, and he built the Tower of Ilgalar and crafted magical Wait. pendants to take over yeah. the Shadowhide Knolls and amass an army of his own. I understand oh that God. he was using the Black Rock Orcs as like a, a meat shield from the local town of Lakeshire. That's fucking but badass. I don't understand why he has to be enemies with them. Um, why can't he just stay friendly with them and have a? Because he's uh, an uh, asshole. Who cares? All we know is he has yeah. this dark magic book that is filled with evil incantations, and if he manages to open it, we're kind of screwed. With the help of a local mage in Elwyn Forest, yeah. we can learn the evil warlock's weak points and put a stop to him what once the? and for all. But that quest is really hard, and you need a party to do it. Yeah. So uh, maybe I'll just go get boosted in dungeons instead. We. I don't think we even... Did we do this one? I don't think that we did because we went up there and it's like, oh, that guy's really hard. We don't want to kill him. And then we just ignored it.
Like it's character model. Yeah, what the fuck? It's super hard. I remember trying to go up the tower and there are two of the brutes and they have like the two handed axes and they just kept killing me. Like I, I actually couldn't even go up the tower. Like that's one of those areas in the game that's so hard to do even at low levels and even though they're normal mode mobs that we had to go up and group up to do that because like a lot of the mobs there are like level 22 or like 20 and then lieutenant fangor i remember it was like level 27 it, it's insane is there again launch yeah. with 20 people yeah. yeah that seems like a good idea okay you're rushing Bye. 60 yeah we were hell yeah we were what the fuck how can they do a better job at telling these stories and making them better in the game because i feel like that's a <clears throat> Hi, Asmongold. Justice, blind. Okay. All right. Sometimes you get gone. The scripted? Yeah, well, that was scripted, actually. <laughs> You're right. Uh, you might be wondering, Platinum, you forgot about the zone, uh, zone here because it's boring. I already plan to talk about in a video. Morganth and his tower and the other mage and his tower. The two towers. Oh, shit. Uh, this is far in the southern tip of Vietnam. It actually looks more like this. What's Vietnam? Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess it does look more like that. Okay. Uh, video has me ticking off the list of references in game. Eyes wide, mouth open, hands. Okay, dude. It's gamer time. Yeah, fuck off. Uh, 10 to 10 video on my server. There's a guild. It's RP. It's Worgen Infesting Duskwood. It's super immersive. I, I don't know. Like, they need to figure out a way. Like, I don't know if they can ever make the game, like, as, as RP and, like, as lore-centric as it used to be. I, I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but I'm fucking hoping for it, man. I'd really love to see that happen. It'd be fucking amazing. Uh, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me go put something on, and uh, I want to do this goddamn tank raid, okay?